Hi guys, Flisk here. Welcome to a uh, World of Tanks replay where I was with Quickie Baby, who is in his comment. I wasn't with him. It just so happened that on the uh, kind of the RNG of uh, joining random games, uh, me and my friend Elfarian um, in the Charioteer and me in the IS3, we came across Quickie in the comment and. Well, we were. I was a little bit starstruck at the time. I was going, "Oh my god! Oh my god! It's Quickie! It's Quickie!" Um, but yes, Quickie baby. So I'm gonna let it play out uh, via my my view, so you'll see what I'm looking at, what I'm aiming at, and I'll just talk you through what happened. And afterwards, I'll show you the post-match stats. And basically showing you why you need to support your teammates. Uh, and by this I mean me and Quickie supported each other. I don't know what he was thinking, but I was trying to support him. And the end damage that we did and what we managed to do showed that if the rest of our team had been ducked, we might have been able to do something. First things first is I am going to fix the sound because with Gnome Father's Gun Sounds mod, it does the volume thing that I've mentioned in previous videos. Ram that comment, we have a chance of winning, so obviously someone else knows something. I said Quickie is here, everyone look good. Unfortunately, our team B1 and B2 did not do, and the J Panther 2 and D1 didn't do very well. So, my friend going in his chair two in the centre. I'm going to change that sound now before your ears die. Change it. Cool, there we go, right. So, still watching in my view, and I try and get a shot on the chaffee, it's not happening. So I decide to do what you do in a heavy tank like this, when you're top tier, is go round the cliff, at the bottom of the cliff, uh, and try your hardest to tank, uh, and look, actually be a roadblock. And even if you're outnumbered and outgunned, in this position, what I love to do is just tank. Hold the line, think Toto, hold the line, and you need to... Just, just be a roadblock. You're, if your team can push the centre or the alley like our team should have, if you look at the minimap right now, you can just be a roadblock here and then the rest of your team can come up behind them. But our team in the valley derp, and you'll see what I mean. So I bounce, he misses, the world keeps on spinning. IS3 fires, I go in for the kill on the IS3. Well, I don't, not for the kill, but just for the shot. I'm very lucky that I switched to the IS-3 because it's a more priority target. The IS-2, uh, sorry, the IS just tracks me. I do take hit from the IS-3, but I think that, I feel that the IS-3 is a more dangerous target. I want to kill it first. So the IS-3 uh, bounces on me. I go for the IS's controller. If I can see it, I'm going to go for it. The IS goes for the Tiger. Probably a good... Uh, good idea. There's two IS-3s here, so there's me and this Tiger versus a lot of stuff. Get hit on the IS-3, I've bounced the shot. And I've bounced another shot from the IS, so it's another shot I've bounced. I'm slowly backing around with the Tiger. Me and the Tiger are slowly retreating. I go affirmative, I think, when the uh, SU-152 says step back. Yep, affirmative. Oh, the Tiger goes affirmative. SU-152, I'm thinking, is in a perfect position here to support us when they come out the corner. And he fires, and I look because, well, no damage, so he must have fired heat maybe against that IS-1. Go for the control shot on one two, snatch it, don't really get a hit in. Um, probably should have aimed a little lower and fired a little later. Meanwhile, Quickie Baby has got onto the hill in his Comet, and their Chaffee is dead. Their Spearpanzer 1C is down at G3, and not very good position for a light tank on this map who should be trying to contest the cliff. But as you'll see, as our hill, our valley team have pushed, as you will soon find out, that Spearpanzer 1C is the, well, probably the reason they win this game. So, oh, sorry, spoiler alert. So I'm probably... You know, I'm trading badly against this, but there's a lot to hold the line. Tiger can't really block, so I've got to try and block for the Tiger. Tiger's got DPM uh, for his tier anyway. 
But I'm, and he's got the penetration as well to be able to deal with them. But what he doesn't have is the armor. He's got 100 flat armor, so even if he angles, they'll go through it anyway. At this point, I'm wondering what's going on. My friend in the chariot is still alive. I'm not sure. He's got a kill. I'm not sure what he's been doing. I'm sure he's been doing his job. And suddenly, IS. Both me and the Tiger 1 hit the IS. Both me and the Tiger 1 bounce on the IS. Strunk Mantlet is strunk. I aimed at the Capola, but obviously I did not hit the same Capola. Tiger 1 eventually succumbs to an IS. It's me and this IS. And the 112 and I think two IS freeze? Yeah, two IS freeze still. Uh, one of the IS threes has gone round. Both IS threes have gone to the middle. That's really sucky for the middle team. And now, Quickie is going for this IS, and he's been pummeling it. I don't know if you've noticed. He's just been poking it and poking it and poking it. I'm trying to get the shot here. I can't really get the shot of this IS, but I'm keeping him at bay. The IS can't go for Quickie because he'll have to go through me. Go for the one one two. I tried to get his lower plate. I think with that, he must have just hit his upper plate. Forget that the 112 and our ally SU 152 drowns, which probably is one of the other reasons we might have lost this game as well. Don't know how we drowned, but okay. Quick Fingers is requesting fire at him. I don't really have the shot. I think Quickie manages to take him out anyway. In a second, he's fired. IS misses. Quickie fired again, misses, and hits him this time. So IS is down. Right now I can try and push the 112. 112 pens me. I bounce the 112 again. And unfortunately this uh Oh and our valley team is now starting to die. But Quickie in the comet is harassing this 112. This is so quickie in the comet on this map. Look at that with that gun depression. And I'm doing him no service. Uh, sorry, I'm doing him a disservice here because his commentary is way better than mine is. But it was just, it was behold, it was a sight to behold. His one one two. Don't know what must have been going through his mind, but he was, he was gutted. Oh, I, it's a pity that Quickie missed that shot and kills the one one two. That one one two couldn't go for Quickie, or even try. A he doesn't have the gun elevation anyway. But B, even if he did, he would have given him me the opportunity to blast him, and with health he already, was already on, he couldn't do that. He had to face his front to me, so I had a tricky shot going for him, and Quickie was just able to put shots on top of him. Set the IS-2 on fire, but he used the fire extinguisher. I'm telling Quickie that I'm reloading. I'm going to respot this IS-2 for Quickie. I don't know if Quickie spots it first. And here come the shots. There's one. There's another. This IS-2 is just completely focused on me, which is fine by me, I'm just not even going to bother trying, because the IS-2 can look at me all day long, because he's far too slow to respond, and he's he's not sure what he's doing, Quickie's taking his time, getting the hits in, and Quickie finishes the IS-2 off. Type good job. He doesn't speak at all this game, but that's fine. It's probably either streaming or whatever, I'm not sure. Get a shot in on this IS-3. IS-3 hits the ground halfway between me and him, not sure what he was aiming at, probably tried to snapshot or something like that. Quickie finishes him off. So that's me and Quickie together finished those three tanks off, and he helped kill the T29 and the IS as well. Um, and he's got five kills. In fact, I think he's killed the IS, the IS 2, and he killed the Mormon 2, and the IS 3, and he also killed the T29. I think those are his five kills. So. I didn't get any of those kills, but I was a roadblock, I'm still alive, and now I'm trying to come around. At this point, it looks like we can still win there. Speerpanzer 1C has got four kills. I believe the four kills were the guys on G1. Uh, my, I think I hit some ants, I'm not sure what happens there. Centurion 1 finishes me off. Uh, my, uh, my friend died as well in the charioteer, and uh, unfortunately, the end of that. So now we're going to watch in quick. We're going to watch Quickie, and Quickie's had enough of being on top of the hill. All we've got is the quick uh, Quickie in the comet and the AMX ELC bis, which, uh, let's be honest, there's not really a lot you can do here. 
So, no, he's not going to suicide, don't worry. Ishbear Panzer 1C has got five kills. The Centurion's coming in. Comet versus Centurion 1. I know who my money be on, even if the Comet is done by Quickie. But. I think Quickie's loading premium here. I'm not quite sure. Quickie baby out. Centurion 1 went for the AMX ELC BIS, and that was the cause of his death. Six kills in the comment. But they're capping. With one minute to go, he can't get there in time, really, I don't think, anyway. But even if he could, he's massively outnumbered. Incoming, the Harbinger of Death for the enemy team. Even though Quickie's got Harbinger of the Apocalypse on his turret. Unfortunately, as you'll soon see in second. Trepepanzer 1C, this is crucial here. Quickie dunks that shot, and unfortunately, I believe this has been killed him, because SP, SP1C managed to finish him off. Thus ending that game, unfortunately. GG. Anyway, so enough of that. Now to show you the stats. So, we just have a look at what happened here then. So, IS-3, as you can see, so it did some damage here. Now, unlike the World of Tanks UI, this uh, website doesn't show you the damage blocked by armour individually on here at the moment. Um, this 112, though, I hit him but never damaged him. Um, so, there you go. And I detected a little bit of damage to the chaffee, but it looks like I didn't do too much, you know. Just some module damage and some actual damage. Um, decent amount of experience and money for a defeat at tier 8. I'm just going to move this so it doesn't look like I'm looking to my left. So a team score. So, uh, if we do this by experience, obviously Quickie in the Comet, 1,797 base experience uh, on a loss, which was fantastic. And I go 573. But here's the cool thing. He gets Fire for Effect, Bruiser, Duelist, High Caliber, Top Gun. I get Fire for Effect. But in his Comet, he does 4,805 damage, which was phenomenal. I did a respectable almost 3,000 um, whilst holding the line. If I look at the detailed report for myself, hits received uh, damage blocked by armor, 1,560, which I feel was a, you know, a good amount. Um, hits received 11, so non pen 6. I tanked as hard as I could. Um, and obviously, as you can see there, 2,836 damage. 13 shots fired, 12 hits, 7 pens. So a lot of bounces, really. A lot of extra damage I could have got. Maybe I could have tipped the game in our favour as well. Didn't travel very far, but didn't need to. If I look at Quickie. Uh, hits received, damage blocked by armor, so he did damage some shots. I think he damaged 1, 1 alpha. So that's, yeah, 390, so that's one of the uh, 122 mil guns from one of the Russian vehicles or Chinese vehicles. Uh, he did 440 from more than 300 metres, so a bit of sniping, but obviously the most of it from less than that. Shots fired, 42. Hits, 37. Pens, 33. So absolutely spam cannon away. And he did a fantastic job. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough. ARL-44, Jagdpanther 2, VK-4502A. Black Prince, these four, unfortunately, I believe, I think all four of them went to the uh, alley, uh, valley of death, uh, the one line. And, well, if I just uh, close quickie there, you can see the Speerpanzer 1C, fired 26 rounds, got 15 hits, 13 pens, did 2,160 damage, and their T-34, who was alive at the end, did 3,000 damage, and again, the Centurion and T-28 prototype, and the 112 you know, they all did um, good amounts of damage. So well played. Their team did deserve to win, uh, even though Quickie and I, you know, tried our hardest. Um, but a lot of me uh, medals from all, all sides here. Uh, Fire for Effect, Hand of God, and Steel Wall from the T-34. So obviously someone was dunking some shots into his mantlet. Um, but never mind. Uh, made a profit as well, so it wasn't too bad. 
But yeah, just a video just to show, highlighted what happened when he played to his strengths with that good gun depression of the Comet's top turret, combined with my road blocking ability in a heavy tank, the tier above him. Didn't do as much damage as I could have, but didn't need to, quickly did it all. And if those four tanks on the bottom of our team did some damage, um, we could have quite easily won that. And if our SU-152 hadn't have drowned, they could have turned the game around. And if I hadn't have bounced so much on the 112, I could have also turned the game around. Anyway, thank you so, so much for watching. Uh, take care, and I'll catch you next time.